see. Right now I'm on my way to class at the University of Texas at Austin. So as a fourth year advertising major, I spend a lot of my time here at the UT College of Communication. I'm here for my portfolio class, which is part of the Texas Creative Sequence. And within Texas Creative, I collaborate with a copywriter partner to conceptualize integrated ad campaigns throughout the semester. And being an art director, I design the assets that we present to a panel of industry professionals at the end of each semester. I'll see you after class. This has been new. I'm a bit of a regular here. Right now I'm working on the layout for the Moody Magazine, which is the student publication of the Moody College's Communication Council. As magazine chair, I lead meetings every week and oversee a committee of 10 people to make sure that everyone's producing their articles and illustrations on time, and that it's all like a cohesive design. So right now I'm making dinner. I'm making egg noodles and bok choy, which is a super quick meal that my mom used to make me when I was younger. This is my mom. Everyone says that we look a lot alike, which I take as a compliment. My mom's influence on me obviously extends beyond her recipes. I was raised hearing stories about her upbringing in rural China. My mom's father taught her how to play violin. Her musical skill is what allowed her to attend music school and then come to America to pursue her professional career as a violinist. In America is where she met my dad, who is from Georgia. Being half white and half Asian comes with a sort of identity crisis. A lot of times, the first thing people ask me is, what are you? And there's not really a clear answer to that because I never felt like a complete insider in white communities or Asian communities. You feel like you're in this gray area in between as a mixed person. Ultimately, being biracial has really shaped who I am. Because I was raised in a household with two very different cultures, I am really good at finding balance in everything. I think I'm a very open-minded and adaptable person. It's made me more empathetic to different cultural backgrounds. I'm trying to paint every night before I go to bed. Uh, right now I'm working on a portrait for a project I'm working on for my human rights and social justice certificate. I'm working with Casa Marinella, which is a local refugee shelter. Um, and I've been speaking one-on-one -on -one to residents to hear firsthand about their immigration experience and then paint portraits of them. Within an inherently profit-oriented industry like advertising, I think it's really easy to lose sight of humanity. And so I wanna make sure that all of the work I do in advertising is purpose-driven and aimed at actually helping people, especially marginalized communities. I'm applying to MAPE because I want to keep advocating for people within advertising. I want to bring my own cultural background to the industry to help brands speak in the most authentic and genuine way possible. Thank you to Mate for this opportunity and I hope you all had fun spending the day with me.